Hey everyone, this video is about the Casio CM100, a computer math calculator from 1986, and the only Casio calculator created specifically for programmers. And you may be wondering what a programmer's calculator is for. Well, back in the 70s and 80s, typical software engineers used lower level languages than they do nowadays, whether that be languages like C or even Assembler. And programmers were often wrote software that was close to the underlying hardware and therefore manipulated bits, bytes and words in order to control hardware or encode uh, or read data. And there are still programmers that need to do that today in niche areas, but it's not um, as common for the typical modern developer who works in a high level language such as JavaScript, Python or C Sharp. And the CM100 wasn't the only programmer's calculator on the market during that era. TI released their pioneering TI programmer almost a decade earlier in 1977 and followed that later with two LCD programmer's models in 1982 and 1985. And of course, there was also HP's amazing 16C from 1982. And so the CM100 was the last programmer's calculator to come on the market and I think Casio was able to make some good choices about the functionality they included and that that they didn't. And as we'll see, although it's nowhere near as sophisticated as the 16C, it was an elegant and well-designed device, uh, making it really easy for a programmer to perform all the operations they would expect uh, without any unnecessarily complication. And physically, the CM100 looks a lot like many other Casio calculators from the mid-1980s. It has a solar cell uh, that requires 50 lux of light over its area to function, and this is fairly typical for a calculator solar cell. On the box, it states that it can be powered by candlelight, uh, but if you have less light, uh, you may find the display fades. And interestingly, uh, there's no on-off button or power-off timeout, so power only cuts out off when it's no longer exposed to light. So I guess generally that would have meant uh, when it was put back in the carry case it came with. And the CM100 uses a simple 10-digit um, eight segment LCD display uh, with a bunch of mode indicators. Uh, and so it shows the hex digits um, A through F using a mixture of upper and lower case letters. And the keyboard is very typical for a Casio calculator. Uh, the function of a lot of the keys depends on which mode uh, the CM100 is in, and I'll explain more about that later. It's not much to see on the back of the CM100. Uh, there's just three screws uh, and some rubber feed and we'll take those screws out now to look at the internals. So you can see the CM100 is very simple internally. There's just a uh, Hitachi HD61708 system on a chip uh, and you can see the ribbon to the display and also two lines to the solar cell. So like I said, the CM100 uses a bunch of modes. The default mode when you power it up is called comp mode and this is for regular floating point arithmetic. Uh, so say if we calculate 2 plus 3 times 4, uh, we can see that um, those um, operations are actually displayed on the side of the display. Uh, and we'll hit equals, and you can see that it supports all of our operations. And in, in comp mode, the operations associated uh, with these two rows of keys are actually written above and below the keys respectively. So uh, if we hit the NOT key, for example, we actually get the square root. Uh, and in comp mode, we can also use uh, brackets uh, and memory operations and so on. But the primary reason for the CM100 is its support for base integer mode, so binary, octal, hex, uh, and decimal. And we can switch between these easily uh, using these four keys. Uh, at the top. Uh, so let's switch to binary. So in binary, of course, we can only enter uh, ones and zeros. Uh, so uh, two plus three times four would be one zero plus uh, one one times one zero zero. Uh, and we can switch back to decimal to see the answer. 
Uh, and so when we're dealing with low level programming, we often want to set our word size or the number of bits we're dealing with. And this uh, might be the size of the registers on the processor the software is running or the number of input or output pins. And so the CM100 supports uh, bit sizes of uh, 1, 4, 8, 16, and 32. Uh, and so it's interesting they chose to include bit size 1. Uh, let's select that. Uh, and in this mode, we can only enter um, a single digit 1 or 0. So uh, 1 plus 1 actually overflows and we get 0 again. Uh, and so if we switch to 4 bits uh, in binary or 1 nibble, uh, we can see uh, the maximum uh, value is a 1, 1, 1, 1. Uh, which in decimal is 15. Uh, and CM100 does support um, displaying signed or unsigned values in decimal mode. So uh, we can switch to uh, signed uh, values and uh, we can see that 1111 uh, is, uh, represents negative 1, so that's 2's complement. And the CM100, unlike the 16C, um, doesn't support 1's complement uh, representation. Uh, so once we go past 8 bits, uh, there's not going to be enough digits on the display uh, to show an entire value in binary. Uh, so let's select 32-bit uh, mode. And the CM100 uh, splits values uh, into 8-bit blocks and it uses a dot notation to indicate whether the blocks are to the left or right of what's currently being uh, put on the display. Uh, so let's switch to hex again uh, and we'll enter a value uh, and switch back to binary. And we can see now that um, there are with, these dots indicate that there are actually three blocks of 8 bits to the left of this rightmost block. Uh, so we can hit the block key once, uh, and now we see the second uh, block of 8 bits. Uh, and now there are uh, two blocks to the left and one block to the right. And of course the CM100 supports all the standard bitwise logical operations, so not and or an exclusive or. Uh, and there's a dedicated right shift key. Uh, interestingly, it doesn't support um, shift for um, rotate, oh, sorry, shift uh, left. Uh, but it does have additional left shift, uh, left, arith uh, left and right arithmetic shift, and left and right rotate keys. And so the CM100 is fairly flexible in the types of values and operations it uh, can support. So in summary, the CM100 is a really practical programmer's calculator. In terms of sophistication, it sits somewhere between the very elementary TI programmer models and the HP16C, which was by far the most sophisticated. Um, and of course, many uh, modern scientific calculators do uh, support uh, arithmetic and logical operations in binary, octal, and hex. Uh, but they're not as easy to use as the CM100 for computer math, uh, since you often have to press a shift key to access spaces, uh, hex digits, A through F, or uh, bitwise operations. And um, the CM100 are relatively inexpensive to pick up uh, compared to a 16C in particular. So I think they can still be very useful for people doing systems programming, uh, writing software for platforms like Arduino or uh, even classic hardware. Let me know in the comments if you still find a use for your programmer's calculator. And so I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful and if you have please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to get alerted of new videos.